it's all cracked. How can we give them some money like this? Of course we can't give them. But if we huh? make more beads and they crack too, what will we do? Well, there must be a reason oh. that our clay beads cracked. Huh? Let's go ask Bion. I may not know how to make clay beads, but I can guess the reason that they actually cracked. I think it's probably because you didn't knead mm. the clay long enough. But huh? I already kneaded it until it was really soft. It was really soft and easy to form. Kneading the clay isn't so that it's easy to form. The things that will make the beads crack have to be kneaded out. Kneaded out? out? Let's first talk about the principle of thermal expansion and contraction. Objects are all made of many tiny particles. You see? When the temperature heats up, the particles within an object receive more energy movement. The distance between each particle then expands, and the object becomes much larger. When the temperature goes down, the particles begin to move more slowly, and they get closer and closer to each other. And then the object finally shrinks. This is thermal expansion and contraction. But the beads didn't get bigger after they were fired. <laughs> it's not that the beads got bigger, it's that the things inside the clay got bigger. It may look like it's just pottery clay, but actually inside of it there are some air bubbles that were accidentally kneaded in and uneven moisture content. If we then use this clay to fire beads, then the beads will crack easily in the firing process. This is because when the moisture content in the beads is unevenly distributed, it causes different parts of the bead to expand at different speeds. This causes the bead to crack. Air bubbles in the clay also expand with heat and will also break apart and crack the bead. So that's why we have to roll and press the clay so many times. It's to knead out all of the air bubbles and evenly distribute the moisture in the clay. Once the beads are formed, they also need to dry in the shade so that the extra moisture content can be released into the air. Beads without air bubbles and with moisture content evenly distributed won't crack open in the firing process. This time I'll work really hard to knead the clay so that I can make the most beautiful beads for Mooney. <laughs> you and Mooney have a really wonderful friendship 